he says that uh, Rabbi Yosef Chaim Zonnefeld was once waiting with Dr. Isaac Breuer in order to testify in front of the British Commission in Mandatory Palestine, which was determined whether Eretz uh, Yisrael should be partitioned or not. And uh, Rabbi Zonnefeld came up to Darko Bakredish, it seems, with a very fascinating gematria on the spot. He said, Sion be mishpat tibodeh v'shavah b'tzdakot. Sion be redeemed it with, uh, with justice, and the, the, they will return to it with tzedakah. He said, in Sion be mishpat tibodeh in gematria is Talmud Yerushami. And Sion be mishpat tibodeh in gematria is Talmud Bavli. The Nitziv writes that in, uh, in uh, Shmos Lama Dalet, Pasuk Aleph, he says, that the it's Luchos the Yushami and the Babli are like Luchos Rishonis and Luchos Shnias. Says uh, the Yushami Kedushas are Rabba me a Babli. Yushami is Kedushas greater than Babli. Kasher na say I day Amoroi Kamoi. That's because it's made by the earlier Amoroim. Kama Amar Rabba v'Shavas Laf Kufla Medal. Like Rabba says, on a Bahadi Targim Targim na the Sabi Lamali. How can I compete with the Amoroim of Eretz Yisrael? Harei Hodash Kedusha Rishonim Yisrael Chavin Es Emes. So he was conceded that the Rishonim of the Amoraim and Eretz Yisrael had more capacity to ascertain the truth. And the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael certainly helped them to achieve that madrega. Nevertheless, we know the power of Tamu Bavli is greater than that of Yerushalmi. Why? Especially since uh, Babli is called Machshachim Moshibani, that is placed in darkness. It's not a, a negative. But rather, Babli has tremendous power to clarify Allah even in darkness. Where you're lacking the light of Eretz Yisrael. Uh, uh, if not for the power, the power of Tam Babi would not be able to illuminate Kutzlaritz with uh, or the or of Hora. So Tam Babi is on a lower madrega in terms of MS, but on a higher madrega in terms of being able to be mayor by Machshakim. And that's why uh, the way it's understood, even though the Pasuk puts Tam Yushambi first and Tam Babi second, it really goes in the opposite order, because Shavea bit Tzedaka, as we had in this past week's parasha, they mean by Hashem, Yach Shavea lo Tzedaka. Emuna gives a person a madrig of a tzaddik. Tzaddik be emuna so yichia. Emes be emuna is what we say at night when it's dark. We need emuna. Hagibah boker chazdecha be emuna so balelos. In the morning when it's more clear, which represents the gulu, we say emes be yatsif. It's clear. It's solid. It has a foundation. So, uh, the uh, the the return to Eretz Yisrael has to be paid by the or in Golis, which is the Muna, which we have by Machshakim, which comes uniquely from Talmud Bavli. But at the time when uh, uh, Am Yisrael has gone past that level of Talmud Bavli Kaviyocho to a higher Madriga, we come to Madriga of Talmud Yushami, and uh, that's the level of Tzion Ben Mishpat Tibada. The actually the actual Pidyon of Tzion comes from the. Uh, uh, the town of Yerushalmi, which is is much more um, uh, 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 terse, much more, I guess we could say, Lainyan, and much more evidently, Luchovan, as we could see, says, uh, uh, cable to give us the power to be Mechab into Emes more. So, uh, I assume that most of the people in the Swine from Yerushalmi now have uh, started, gone through Bavli, Many Bishos Arts School are going to the ba- went to the Babli and now are going to go to the Yushami, Ashrem and Ashri Chelkam. Uh, but uh, the idea is that Mir Hashem, this should be an additional slav, an additional stage, a closer stage to the ultimate Geula that's going on from Babli to Yushami. There are some fascinating things about the Yushami, which are different than the Babli, which uh, uh, I wrote about many years ago when I first wrote about the Dafyomi Yushami. Um, in the uh, Jewish Observer back in the time uh, in 1997 when the, at the end of a Bavli cycle when it overlapped with the beginning of the Yushami cycle. And uh, as we know, the Gera Rebbe, the Leib Simcha, is the one who introduced the Nimur of Dafyomi Yushami at the last Knesset Gedola in 1980 when we had to see him on uh, our learning Yushami, which we went through in Chicago, myself and three other Kavuim, uh, 
Dr. Joel Zuger, Olav Hashem, Havya Mechaim Mechaim, Dr. David Spindel, and Rabbi Mary McGancy. Those are the Gwyn. There are other people who could join us over the time. Uh, I, I mentioned that um, uh, I'm sorry, not I mentioned Rabbi Chaim Cohen Shlita, the Dain of uh, Kadas Yishur in New York at the time, was Chashva uh, Rav, and was Chashva Rabbanim in America today, said that the Lev Simcha uh, initially only meant to encourage the study of Yushami, because our Pikabola, it hastens the Gula, perhaps based on what we just explained. It was only later they put it in that Yomi form in order to st standardize the study. The other day, wanted to learn Yushami at whatever pace suits them, which is appropriate now that art school has expanded the uh, limit of the Yerushalmi from four years to six years. Uh, hopefully this will make it even more accessible by making it much uh, uh, more bite-sized uh, uh, morsels. But there is uh, there are several things about the Yerushalmi which, uh, um, which are worth mentioning. And uh, it's not, first, it's a, uh, as I wrote in this article, first, it's not so hard. <laughs> it's embarrassing to say, perhaps. Uh, there are many aids to the study of you, you say the Zroyim particularly, so you never have to get stuck. Besides the classic Bushan of Pinay Motion, the Big Baz, you have the extraordinary, lucid, and simple running commentary of Reb Chaim Kanievsky Zatzal, and the series since then, the then extended of Zroyim is some of mine, now I believe it's almost all of Shas, if not all of Shas. You have the more scholarly Kavanaki series by uh, Rabbis Ari Kamel, Yehuda Levi, Leo Levi, was, uh, and Rabbi Gershon Metzger. Uh, which was uh, very helpful. And uh, also, interest, interestingly, one of the most helpful for the entire Yushami, one of the Chofetz Chaim described as indispensable to study the Yushami in the Zaskama, is the Mashbiach, written by uh, the chief rabbi of Pittsburgh into, into the 1930s, Rabbi Sivit Satzal, and published here in America, at first. In the last edition was published in Yushalayim. So the, the, the Yushami blot are much easy, so it's, you, know, you can easily go much shorter, I should say. Much shorter, so you can cover two plot usually in under an hour, even if uh, in shear, this should not take much, much less time. Uh, and also, it's to disabuse a common notion, Yushami is not see Sri Torah. There is no sea of mysterious ideas in which you uh, are going to travel. And if you've done Kachim and Nida and the Bavli, then Zroyim is certainly nothing to be afraid of. There's far less Agarita than Yushami. The Bavli Agarita is about. Uh, one third of the uh, the Talmud in Yushami is about one sixth of the Talmud, um, and uh, uh, there is um, uh, therefore again the blot remains shorter as a result. Yushami sugas are much shorter than the Bavli. Yushami sushikatent, as we shall see for the first time on that base, on that base in the, our learning, that uh, to to raise a question, let it remain unresolved rather than provide pursue proofs uh, and disproofs. The language Yushami, as I mentioned, is much terser. It often contracts words. Uh, the words which in the Bible appear as two words, and the Yushami very often appear as one word. Like uh, um, uh, the, uh, like the word the law, which is the, the contraction of da ella. Uh, and um, it applies even to the names, as uh, there's Amora, who in the Bible appear, they appear as Rabbi Law. And one of the basic Yushami mistakes is in the Yushami appears as Rabbi Lo, Lamed Aleph. And therefore, very often people read it wrong. Amar Rebbe, Lo, instead of Amar Rebbe Lo. Uh, the uh, the of the Yushami is very is, is inaccurate. And uh, this has to do with the horrific persecutions there as well that impeded the proper editing of the original text and also sloppy transcriptions. The Gra brings that, that changes uh, or clarifies, I should say, Many, many Gersos and uh, other Akronim do other work afterwards because there are very few Rishonim on the Yushami and they're very sparse. There's a Likut of Likur Rishonim, Tarot of Rishonim appears in the back of some Sekhlas, but um, again, as you will see, that they're very sparse and far in between. So the uh, the Girsa, in fact, the issue of the Girsa has attracted many Akronim to write on the Yushami as it provides a fertile gra ground for a creative interpretation. And uh, the Yushalmi is therefore an exciting adventure in a different way than the Bavli. In some ways, if Shashuai, it's more fun than, than the uh, than the Bavli because of your ability to interact more directly with the Sugya and come up with creative interpretations. And certainly, we'll try to highlight in our uh, 
Shurim, some Ukraine interpretations, which um, perhaps some which might not access otherwise. And uh, it's this we shall be Zaycha, that uh, next year will be Rusham, Rusham will take place, at least in Madison Square Garden, or whatever the form is called nowadays. Um, uh, and uh, but Rabbi should take place in Yushalayim, Yerak Kodesh, to be Makai the Pasuk, for Tiyam Pishim, Pada, and Shall be Zaycha to get to, to be Makai, be Yushalayim, be Befoyal, and to all of Hilchus Zroim, and perhaps this is a different story, but to find the Ross Yushalayim and Kachim, which was famous for, such a famous forging in the early 20th century, century, which we perhaps will discuss another time. And uh, a great Yashukayach to everybody, and a great uh, Chizuk. And a great siyasi shmai to everybody who's undertaking the Yushami at this point.